Good evening, everybody. Police are trying to solve a couple of disturbing cases of animal abuse in Butler County. An animal rescue group says someone kicked and beat a small stray dog, and then someone else tried to light a stray cat on fire. But as Local 12's Jeff Hurst shows us, the animals are on the mend, and they're looking for someone to take them home. Hey, baby. Let me see. It's all right. This stray cat, named Nicholas by the animal rescue group, which helped save him, is lucky to be alive. A lady said that uh, somebody, we don't know, somebody had tried to set him on fire and, and also was hitting him. This dog, named Holly by the rescue organization, is also at the All About Pet Care Veterinary Clinic and also has a sad, sad story. Earlier this week, a police officer found the dog after reports that a group of kids was kicking the animal. We knew there was some sort of a brain trauma. Today, Holly was given a laser treatment to reduce inflammation and pain. And she also has a broken jaw and a tooth where she was kicked. Police do not know who tried to hurt the animals. Holly may look fine, but she has a long road to recovery. Same with Nicholas. Veterinarian Laura Arrington says the cat has a mass in his ear, dental problems, and ulcerations in his mouth. It's unclear if someone really tried to set the cat on fire, but he still needs lots of care. So he's an intact male, which is pretty uncommon, so probably um, was a stray and uh, probably hasn't had a great life. As troubling as animal cruelty is, it can be a first step to something far worse. When you see the, the people who are killing adults or kids, when they're adults, you look back at history and they started out with animals. So the hope is whomever abused these animals can be caught and get some help. One, two, three. You ready, baby girl? Once Holly and Nicholas are finished here, they'll be removed from their cages. There will be final medical checks. And then they will be taken by Joseph's Legacy, the rescue group, to foster homes. And the hope is then that someone will adopt the animals permanently. He is just in bad shape. He is so affectionate, though. And Nicholas does have a shot at recovery. And as you can see with Holly, there is hope. The six- to eight-year-old mall teases up and out and so much better than just a few days ago when she was found. Now she needs to find something else good home. Jeff Hirsch, Local 12 News. And the animal rescue group Joseph's Legacy is named for a dog saved in 2013, which had been chained in a backyard for several years. If you'd like to learn more about adopting rescued animals, including Holly or Nicholas, we have a link to Joseph's Legacy on our website. Just go to local12.com and click on the Get It button.